Okay, number two says, name the following alkane according to IUPAC rules. So whenever we're naming these, once again, the first thing we have to do is identify the parent chain, and that's always going to be the longest carbon chain. In this case, that's very easy. That's just going from left to right here. We have that as the parent chain. Now what we need to do is figure out how we are going to number this parent chain. So are we going left to right or right to left? And we will choose the direction that will give the first substituent occurring soonest. So if we go left to right, we have methyls occurring on carbon three. If we were to go right to left, we wouldn't have the bromine until carbon four. So that means that we want to number this left to right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, this is an octane. So we have an octane and we have some substituents. What are the substituents? Well, we have two methyls here on carbon three. We have a bromo group on carbon five. We have an ethyl group on carbon four. And we are going to list those in alphabetical order. The first thing alphabetically is bromo. We're going to want five bromo first. And then we want ethyl, four ethyl. And then we want 3,3-dimethyl. Remember that we need a prefix di because there are two methyls, but the D for di does not affect the alphabeticity. It's still going to be ethyl before methyl. So we want option A, 5-bromo, 4-ethyl, 3,3-dimethyl octane because B for bromo first, E for ethyl second, and M for methyl third. So that will be that one.